high amount of self-consumption and sector coupling become more and more important for the energy transition. How do you achieve this? You learn now. Welcome to the booth of Costal Solar Electric. On my side, I welcome Thomas Garber. He is product manager of, of Costal. Mr. Garber, a high amount of self-consumption become more and more important for the energy transition. How do you achieve this with your solutions? There we are right positioned, just in front of our iRunner product, the PlantyCore Plus inverter. And maybe I'll just start with some new facts and some new features that we will introduce this year. So we talk about generation two. So you see from the outer uh, uh, design, there's no change. But we've changed more the inner uh, values and features. So we implemented a second LAN interface for easy daisy chaining of the network connection. Additionally, we fully integrated uh, wireless LAN Wi-Fi uh, connection that you can easily with a smartphone device or tablet um, commission the inverter and read out the data. And uh, the third part is we have four digital outputs available and now we are coming to your part for um, uh, higher self-consumption. You can um, uh, control with four digital outputs, um, uh, yeah, different kinds of, of, of loads like heating or, or other uh, things uh, that consume energy, that if you have exceeding energy available, that you can just activate them. Yeah, and the last uh, new feature is an external input for um, yeah, over voltage protection devices, uh, surge arresters. Um, when they are um, um, yeah, tr triggered, that we can read out if they are triggered and defective, that you can see it uh, on the portal or via the app easily with uh, our system. Yeah, and the second point for higher self-consumption is just what everybody should know right now is storage, storage systems. And here we introduce three new systems that are compatible or will be compatible in the, in the next upcoming weeks. It's first of all on the, from, from my point of view, on the right side, the uh, um, Pylon Tech battery. It's an high voltage system. Pylon Tech Force H1 and H2 would be uh, available. Then on the other side, we are just finalizing the compatibility tests with LG, LG Electronics, and with the Resoflex battery system. Yeah, and that's not all. Beginning of next year, we will also be compatible with a new Vata wall. And um, yeah, we have a long cooperation with and a long um, um, uh, discussions with Vata. So we know this product a bit earlier than, than the whole world, but. Um, yeah, next year we will have it also in our portfolio. Mm -hmm. And the next step is to use the energy in the building and yeah. for that you need an energy management. And uh, what solution have you for this? This I will show you on the other side. So now we are on the other side of the wall. As you see three different, or three not different, three the same inverters and three batteries. That means we now can control with the enhanced um, energy management system up to three inverters with each three batteries. So this brings us to a total capacity of 200 kilowatt hours and a maximum power at 30 kilowatts. So this is, um, um, I think, a strong argument for also small commercial projects for enhancing self-consumption. You said uh, already that you have also a solution for sector coupling, especially for charging of electric, ve electric vehicles. And uh, which solution right on the you other side. Right on the other side. I can then show you more details. Then go yeah. with you to, to the other side. Yeah, here we are. That's our AC wallbox uh, enector. So we introduced it last year, 2021, on the last Intersolar as a, um, yeah, as a world premiere. And now we expect also the deliverance in the next few weeks. So this is an, 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 an robust uh, outdoor wall box, so can also put uh, to any outside area. Uh, established with a 7.5 meters charge cable and type 2 connector. So, but that's not all. The main thing is you're asking about self-consumption sector coupling together with the Costa Smart Energy Meter and the PlentyCore Plus. 
We can also control the inector wall box and have different charge modes and one of this is for, for, for instance is a pure solar mode so that whenever the solar power is exceeding the, the complete power will be put into your car so your car is then, um, yeah, filled up with sunlight. Okay, from the first kilowatt hour from the roof. Okay, that sounds good. And uh, you told us already about uh, commercial uh, solutions yes. and you, you have a commercial inverter. And is there any news for this yeah, one? Also some news, yeah, I will show you. Here we are showing our Pico CI inverters. So just last year brought into the market, introduced to the market, we have uh, this year also a new feature, so we could increase the DC currents. So up to 18 amps is now possible to connect one string. So it's prepared for the 670 watt peak module that's just uh, arrived on the market. But if you want to use all the um, DC inputs, it is possible to have 13 amps per DC string. That makes it possible that the inverter is always running with the right power and the best efficiency. And last but not least, we implemented SunSpec protocol and this makes it very versatile and it's very easy to yeah, connect it to external devising, devices using the same protocol. Okay, so you are well uh, prepared for the challenges of the energy transition? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Garber, for the uh, deep in informations. And if you want to see more, more from Costal Solar Electric, then visit the website of the company.